Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. And yesterday I went to Best Buy and I picked up a Amazon Fire 7 8 gigabyte tablet. Now this is a low-end tablet. It was on sale for $39.99. They're usually $49.99 on Amazon and Best Buy. But I picked it up because I wanted to see the performance. Now I did a little bit of research on this and it does run a quad-core MediaTek processor at 1.3 gigahertz. And the GPU is a Mali 450 MP4. So it's a quad core GPU. And I wanted to see if we could get some emulators running smoothly on this tablet. For the price, you really can't beat it. But for my purpose, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to immediately wipe it. And I'm going to put Cyanogen Mod on it. Because I hate the Amazon front end. It is horrible. Uh, the Fire OS, I believe it's called. It's super clunky. And it's just hard to navigate. You get ads on your lock screen and everything. So you won't see this running Fire OS. As soon as I get it out of the box, I'm flashing Cyanogen on it. And what I'm going to do is just run a few benchmarks. So this video will just be dedicated to a couple benchmarks. I'll run Antutu, Sun Spider, Quadrant, and 3D Mark on it. Let's get into it. I'm going to open this thing up off camera. I'm going to flash it and I'll be back. So overall the install process took less than 30 minutes from taking it out of the box, installing Cyanogen Mod, and getting to this screen here. I have installed a bunch of apps from the Play Store. What I'm using here is Mirror. This is a mirroring app that you can download. I'm mirroring it to my Mac, so the performance and the video quality will be deteriorated. But when I do these benchmarks, I'm going to put up a screenshot of a benchmark without mirror running. Let's go and check the specs really quick. We're going to use ADA64 here. So we got one gigabyte of RAM. There's 867 megabytes free. Our CPU is a MediaTek MT8127, 4-core Core Cortex-A7 at 1300 MHz, or 1.3 GHz, 28 nanometer chip, 32-bit processor, no 64-bit, can't complain. Our display is 1024 by 600, low-resolution display. It doesn't bother me at all. I, to me, I don't mind. I know this is no Samsung Galaxy S7 screen, but we're not talking about Samsung S7 prices either. A Mali 450 MP4 GPU, four GPU cores. Now, I am not sure what speed the GPU is running at. I'm going to have to do more tests, see if I can find the speed for that. Overall, specs look actually decent for a $50 tablet. Like I said before, when I start running these benchmarks, the video quality is deteriorated. The scores may be a little deteriorated, but I will run them again, put them on screen with no mirror app running. First one we're going to do is Quadrant. And I have used this since the very first My Touch came out and I actually enjoy running this benchmark. I know a lot of people hate it, but I don't. So with mirror running, we get a 5,089. Not bad. Not bad for the price at all. Now you got to remember that this is a $50 tablet. 5,089. On screen, I'm putting... The score without mirror running. So it's a little bit better. Let's go ahead and close Quadrant and A to 64. We're going to run another benchmark. We're going to do Antutu. Twenty four thousand six hundred and fifteen. Now this is with mirror running. Here's a score without mirror running. And 
and we're going to back out. I'm going to use the stock Cyanogen browser that came with this, and we're going to run SunSpider. Now this is just a quick JavaScript benchmark. Sixteen ninety three lower is better. For reference, the Raspberry Pi three runs twenty six to twenty eight hundred, so this is significantly faster. Last benchmark I'm going to be testing is three D Mark. So let's close all this out. We'll run Ice Storm Unlimited. This should give us a good score, and this will test the graphic performance of the GPU and CPU combination. Run. Four thousand eighty four. Here's the score without Mirror running. So the scores aren't too great for a high end tablet. But this is no high-end tablet. This is a low-end tablet. And heads up, Nintendo 64 runs pretty good on this, guys. That's it for now. In my next videos, I will definitely be testing some native Android apps and emulators. First video will probably be emulators running, because that's what I like to do. But I've had really good luck. I have tested N64, Dreamcast, and they seem to run pretty good for the price of the tablet. Appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because I have a lot more coming. And here's a little sneak peek.